It is possible to build a PNL statement inside a pivot table. What are the advantages? You can easily filter the PNL statement by years, quarters, uh, by your company branches, uh, by products if you uh, can go down so deeply. Uh, so the filtering would be one of the uh, greatest motivation to create the PNL statement within uh, Excel, but it all depends uh, what are your needs. If your PNL statement does not contain any percentage ratios like gross margin percentage or net profit percentage, then it's enough to prepare the database structure for your labels and create a simple pivot table where you place your labels on rows sort them and use filters and columns or slicers to modify the statement. The challenge starts when your PNL statement will contain also the percentages like gross margin as a percentage uh, of revenue and net profit as a percentage of uh, revenue. Then you cannot include these elements in your source table because those KPIs should be calculated within a pivot table on different levels of aggregation. Uh, so to deal with that, you can either create exactly the same initial structure of your table and create calculated items for both gross margin as a percentage and the net profit as a percentage and place them in the correct order. The only disadvantage is that they don't work on the grand total. So don't turn on the grand total in there. And the second scenario is to change the whole structure of your initial table from the database structure to a structure where every position, every label that you need in the PNL statement becomes a column instead of row. This might be quite unuseful, uh, but it gives you an opportunity to use calculated fields. Gross margin as a percentage and net profit as a percentage are not available in here, but I'm uh, in position to calculate them as calculated fields. Gross margin as a percentage, net profit as a percentage, and uh, I'm placing them in a correct order in between of my uh, sums coming from uh, the columns we have. Uh, this has an advantage that the grand total uh, is working in here too. But the best possible way is to use Power Query, Power Pivot and build the PNL statement with the DAX language.